Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my second video. The first one was really a tutorial for someone that reached out on Instagram and I had to post it on YouTube because it was too big. And I'm glad some people found it useful. People want to see more stuff and I've done so much that I'm almost flustered as to what to post. So I'm just going to do an intro and just show you some of the old stuff I've done up until now. This is my first ever prosthetic nose squish mold. It was very big, took a long time to print, but it was surprisingly successful as you can see on the edges here. Not that I needed a bigger nose. And here's another version. So here's the second prosthetic mold that I ever made six millimeter bolts printed in PLA. I've done no resin printing yet, so I'm quite a noob. I've actually got the physical thing here. So that's the core or the negative. Put a little pore tube uh, spout on there. Bleeders, bolt holes. There's the negative. So this is printed in PLA, so it's really, the detail's not that great, but it was just a bit of an experiment. Cute little pore tube. So this whole journey really started as a result of me working on a film production and seeing the way some things were done actually pissed me off because there was so much material involved so much fiberglass and cutting and grinding and sanding of fiberglass that i just thought there has to be a better way than this so here's another early mold i made just as an exercise uh, this is sculpt the mold is here three-part mold of this alien obviously not very usable pretty naive little mold probably has a few undercuts in it as well but um, it was definitely when I started to get some momentum with this because it took me a fair while to get my head around molding 10 years ago to 3d molding now on ZBrush so this is when I started making some progress and here's slightly more recent stuff I've done and redone this mold probably two or three times and this is the latest version so still printing in PLA <laughs> uh, this was like an alien Star Trek forehead type thing So here's one of the newer things that I'm working on. It's not exactly a prosthetic, but it's something you wear. So there's the core that gets split into sections, gets printed, magnets get put in. There's the sculpt, it's a four part mold. So yeah, it's uh, some Warhammer symbols I'll go into this a lot deeper and do a little process video for you guys later but here's where it's at now so here's another latest ish mold it's a bald cap four parts yeah four part jacket I have not printed this yet but I will soon so this also came as a, about because of practical issues so these aren't you know they don't take too long to make in real life with fiberglass but there was a point where I couldn't be at work and I thought how cool would it be to 
make this on ZBrush and send it overseas. Somebody just prints this out and does their traditional sculpt on top of this. So where it's colored brown is where the rough end of the sculpt is. And all they do is bolt this thing up, put it together, and pour it. There's your pour tube. Ah, uh, sorry. That's to cast it. I haven't put a pour tube for the silicon yet, but you just add one here. So, lots of things to talk about. It should also be said that the first video that I ever watched on this topic was a Pixelogic video featuring Michael DeFeo. And he did this how long ago? Four years ago. So it's well worth watching this video. I'll put a link in the description. There we have it. Second video done. Let me know if you got any questions about any of these molds or if you want me to cover a specific type of mold or process. I'll do my best to help. Otherwise, like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.